Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Owen. I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons. And you just completed uh, independent speaking practice test number uh, 50. And you're also one of my students at California State University, San Bernardino. All right, so let's Someone. listen. I like the... Oh, my name is Omar. I like the weather to be called in California. All is called beat that. Now, one thing that you want to do is, when you start your response, you want to restate the question, right? So the question says, when you go on vacation, would you rather vacation at the beach? Or would you rather vacation in the mountains? So you're not really doing that. It isn't clear why you're giving this response. What is the purpose of this response? Again, look at what it says in the question. Suppose you want to get away for the weekend to relax during the summertime. Would you rather stay at a hotel at the beach or in the mountains? Give reasons to support your choice. Another reason I like the, the water because I... I wouldn't say just another reason why I like the water. Another reason why I choose to vacation at the beach rather than vacation in the mountains is because... You see what I'm saying? So when you, when you move to your next point, connect it back to the argument you're making. You're arguing that it's better to vacation at the beach than vacation in the mountains. That's the argument. So everything that you do needs to connect back to that. I make fun with my friends and play and play together and with the sun and volleyball or something near the beach. For this reason, I go to the beach. It wouldn't be just for these reasons I go to the beach. For these reasons, I choose to vacation at the beach. And that way, what you're doing at the end more directly connects back to the beginning. All right, let's take a look at the rubrics here. So I think that you need a much more coherent or organization of ideas. So uh, I'd recommend that you take a look at two of my lessons in the speaking area of my course. You might want to write these down because you're going to be doing several speaking practice tests in my class. So if you study these lessons now, it'll benefit you when you do future or further speaking practice tests. Speaking lesson number two, especially the first five or six minutes of that video, also speaking lesson number seven. In speaking lesson number seven, I want you to pay attention to the section that talks about repeating or rephrasing key terms. That's something that you didn't do, but something you could do to make the connection of your ideas more clear. Now, language use, your grammar is pretty basic, so I'd recommend that you continue to study in the grammar part of my course. You might even want to take my grammar and diagnostic pretest, and then that'll tell you which areas of my grammar course you should study, and then start studying in those areas. Delivery, one thing I'd like you to do is to work on varying your tone. You can go to the pronunciation section of my course and work on the lessons about intonation. Okay, so for this uh, practice test, I'm going to give you a score of 2.0 out of 4, or 15 points out of 30. Right? Now, for the purposes of our class, I'm going to go ahead and give you full points for completing this, but if this were the final exam, I want, I want you to know what your grade would have been so you have a pretty good idea of where you are right now and where you want to be because I don't want to shock you when you take the final exam at the end of the quarter. So again, I am giving you full credit for completing this assignment. But if this were the final exam, Your grade would have been a 70% out of 100. That's a score that I would have given you if this were the final exam. All right? Anyway, thank you very much for completing the assignment. Keep up the good work.